Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. going to be the finale to my fall project use it up so this video is going to be a recap of everything that I finished up in the last three months during my fall project use it up I started in September October and then November I'm ending it on the last day of November and then tomorrow will be the winter project use it up introduction so I hope you guys are ready for that go ahead and turn on bell notifications so you can be notified when that video goes up but it will be up tomorrow so first I want to go through everything that I um, finished or had progress on since the last update which was I believe at the beginning of November so first let's start with those most recent empties so the first thing that I finished is the almond blossom body lotion this one um, took me about four months so I started up top um, about here here and then finished it off last month really loved almond blossom I had the whole set in the project great fall scent in my opinion also really good for spring the notes are sweet almond oil blended with vanilla orchid and cashmere musk so that's the lotion and then I also have the shower gel and the spray in so on the shower gel I'm so close to being done it's kind of sad um, I'm about right here. I think I might leave it in my shower and just try to casually finish it up, but not put it in the winter project. Um, but I really enjoyed it. It was a great scent, especially for like morning showers when I wanted to feel like nice and put together for the day. I feel like this is a more um, floral forward scent, more so than any of the other scents that I put in. So this one felt natural for me to put in either for like date night or to wear in the mornings to prepare me for the day. So yeah, definitely enjoyed the shower gel. And then in the mist, I actually did get down to where I wanted to be, which was right below the white line on the packaging. So as you can see here, made some pretty good progress in the last month. Um, I've been using this one for a while. This is probably, I think this is one of my oldest mists and it's from 2018. So definitely wanted to get some more progress on this. I really do love this scent and I probably will pick up um, another set of it to use maybe in the spring or next fall um, hopefully at SAS just so I can get the mist finished off I think this is a sizable amount for me to finish within one season you guys I am so slow at using fine fragrance mist it's kind of sad um, but I will do my best to finish them off but yeah that is almond blossom right there the next step that I have to update you guys on is my velvet sugar slash pink velvet cupcake slash sugar cherry crisp set so I'll start off with the empty ones the first empty that I have is Sugar Cherry Crisp. Now, this one only took me one and two months to finish off. I might have actually already showed you guys this empty last time. I can't remember, um, but I think I only had like a little bitty bit left. So I did finish it off. Love, love, love Sugar Cherry Crisp. It is bright cherry delight, crumbled graham cracker, and spun vanilla sugar. Just a wonderful cherry pie filling scent. So yummy. So really enjoyed that one and then pink velvet cupcake in the body cream i'm gonna go ahead and consider it empty even though i have about this much left i just cut it open last night and you can see on the inside here there is quite a bit left um so just a tip on these body creams definitely cut them open because there's so much left i used the top half um last night and there's a ton left in here maybe like two or three more uses but you can tell this has gotten pretty yellow um what year is this from? On the body creams, the year is gonna be right here up on the spine. This is from 2021, so it's just one year old. Um, I think Pink Velvet Cupcake came out in the winter, I wanna say, in 2021, but in 2020, it came out in the fall. But um, this is one of my favorite scents. I absolutely adore it. It is sparkling red berries, whipped pink marshmallow and sugar praline. I've been missing this in the fine fragrance mist, so that's why I put in the body cream also, because I knew it was getting yellow. But it's pretty much finished um took me here's the progress line started one month two month three month so about three months to get through the body cream i was also focusing on other things as well but i love this scent and i will continue to finish it i'm just gonna go ahead and consider it an empty though because i've already cut it open which means it's pretty much almost done and then going along with those two i've been using velvet sugar and sweet like candy by ariana grande this one i can't mark where it's at, but this is like a little mini coffret. Um, they come out with these only on the around the holidays, and they do have another set out this year. I believe at Ulta, 
Um, I think it's Ulta exclusive, these little mini ones. So if you wanna get your hands on one, they do have them now. You could ask for one for Christmas. Um, but that is Sweet Like Candy. It's really great with these scents. It's all like, you know, marshmallow berry sweetness. So it works really well. And then Velvet Sugar, I don't have that much progress on just from here to here. Um, it's not really like a fall into winter scent in my opinion, but it's really great for springtime. So I think I'll bring this one back out in the spring as well, but that's the progress on Velvet Sugar. And then this next combo was kind of a mixture of things. So it was Cinnamon Donut Swirl, Champagne Apple and Honey. And it started out with just Bonfire Bash. So it was like a apple cider donut kind of scent. And then I also put in White Pumpkin and Chai last month because this is a perfect November scent in my opinion. So let's go through the empties. The first one is Cinnamon Donut Swirl and it was right here since the last update, I finished it off. The notes on this are sweet cinnamon, brown sugar, and fluffy dough. I really loved this scent. Um, it's nothing special. I enjoyed it, it was nice. Um, I don't get too much dough in this. For me, it's like brown sugar cinnamon and that's it. Somebody said it's super similar to the, uh, what was it? The Spice Gingerbread scent, I wanna say, that I did a review on in 2020. I'll try and link that up above if I can remember, but it, it actually is pretty similar. Um, that scent had like a pear note to it, kind of weird. But yeah, I did enjoy this one. Probably wouldn't repurchase it because it was nothing special. It was like super generic, just like a nice sweet scent, but that is Cinnamon Donut Swirl. And then I finished off Champagne Apple and Honey in a mini body cream. I also cut this one open because I adore this scent. I want to get it in a full size next year for fall. It's so good. So this one doesn't have the notes on it, but yeah, I really enjoyed this one. And then for the two mists, so Bonfire Bash, I really didn't use too much last month, just a little bit, honestly. Um, this was by my desk and I don't know, I guess I just wasn't using my desk scent this month. So that's Bonfire Bash. Oh yeah, um, I was sick for a whole week. So that is why I did not use it. I had like a really nasty cold, so I was not using fragrances for like a whole week. Um, so that might be why I did not use that one, but, um, we also have white pumpkin and chai, which I got about the same amount of use on. So from here to here, this is just a really nice November scent in my opinion. Um, I don't think I could ever use it outside of like October or November, but it is such a good scent. It's so nostalgic for me. This is the 2020 packaging too. So yeah, just an amazing scent overall. Great for fall. The last scent combo that I have to update you guys on is Midnight Amber Glow and Vanilla Mocha Cafe. I did like a little combo on these two. So I don't have any empties from this one, but I will show you progress. So on the moisturizing body wash for Midnight Amber Glow, the notes are Smooth Amber, Caramel Latte, and Vanilla Bourbon. I loved this scent, especially in this moisturizing body wash. I felt like it was so nice and like luxurious and really really great especially if i'm doing like a cozy routine oh i loved it so i got a lot of use out of it it's it was up here and now it's all the way down here to like this line on the packaging so i use it a ton really really enjoyed this scent i love this formula i think i might pick up a backup of this exact formula at body care day because i just really really enjoyed it so that is the uh, moisturizing body wash i also used it in the creamy body scrub i have to say I'm definitely a fan of this formula. It kind of like lathers when you put some water on with the scrub. It's so nice and I just, I really loved it. So I also got a, quite a bit of use. So from here to here um, is where I'm at, just about right here. And I loved it, so nice. Um, and then I was also using the Vanilla Mocha Cafe Fine Fragrance Mist. Didn't get too much progress, just from here to here, literally like barely got any progress but I really do enjoy this scent and it's just one of those like nice staple cozy scents. So I really enjoyed that. And the uh, mini perfume in Midnight Amber Glow, I can't actually see it because it has packaging that's not see-through. So I did tilt it this way and you can see if you look up here, I'm about halfway through it. Um, so I definitely was using this like crazy. Pretty much every single day I was using this and then every now and then I'd use Ariana Grande Sweet Like Candy but I was really loving this. So I might also pick up a backup of the perfume in this one at Body Care Day if I see it because I really, really loved it and I wanna have a backup for you know, later on next year or whenever and just make sure that I have a backup of this one because I'm loving it. Okay, I have a few miscellaneous things and then we're done. So the first one I have is Pumpkin Spice Latte in the Body Scrub from Tree Hut. So you can see I have the tiniest bit. I literally have one use left. 
Um, kind of sad I didn't finish it, but I really love this. It smells exactly like a pumpkin spice latte. This was like the best scent ever. I thoroughly enjoyed it. This was like the best thing to put me in a fall mood. It was so good. So I'm gonna be sad when I use this for the last time, but I'm gonna consider it an empty just because it's like pretty much almost done. Um, so that is the pumpkin spice latte scrub. And then I have some progress on the peppermint essential oil aromatherapy lotion. I've been using this one um, on my desk for working from home and I use it all the time. The progress I made is from here to here. So not that much, but I am pretty close to finishing this. So I definitely think I'll finish it in like the next month or so. Um, but I really, really love this. It's very relaxing. It's perfect to put on during work and I've been loving it. Another lotion that I put on during work this month was white coconut caramel. Loved this one, smelled awesome. Smelled pretty much just like it's described. It's It was a very nice cozy scent as well. And I really enjoyed it in the little hand lotion. So that's everything for the final update. I'm gonna put out all my empties on the bed from this update and the past ones in the fall and show you guys everything that I finished up. And then tomorrow we're gonna start with the winter introduction. Okay, I did forget to show you guys my Open Sky Mini Body Cream. I did use it quite a bit. It's right down to here, but I did not finish it. So that is Open Sky in the Body Cream. Just wanted to show you guys that one because I did forget. Okay, let's get on to the empties. So I'm really proud of myself because I finished off some good stuff. So. I finished off three full-size body lotions. I think White Pumpkin and Shy was pretty close to being finished when I put it in. I think it was all the way down here. So I don't know if that one counts totally, but I did finish off all of those. I finished off a set in Cinnamon Donut Swirl, two shower gels, one mini body cream, one mini body lotion, one mini body shower, or sorry, shower gel, one hand cream, one full-size body cream, one full-size body scrub, one more full-size body scrub, Shea scrub, and then one mini perfume. This is the Replica um, Autumn Vibes perfume. I loved this one. It was really good. Definitely smelled like um, leaves from Bath & Body Works. That's what it reminded me of. So yeah, that's everything that I finished off during the fall project use it up for 2022 so just to put in reference so i can finish off three body lotions in one season two shower gels in one season one full-size body cream in a season two scrubs and then like you know some minis so that's good to know just how many that i finish off in one season so when i'm thinking about um the winter project i'll kind of put that in mind when i'm thinking about what products i want to put in so yeah, that is everything for my fall project. Use it up. Hope you guys enjoyed that and stay tuned for tomorrow's winter introduction. So yeah, that is everything for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Bye.